another lab monster. Yeah, one of the biggest. GSM Void, yeah, just phenomenal pioneer of the character sheet. Yep. And just one of the few people that's really just breaking into what Sheik is truly capable of. I don't even I don't even think it's what Sheik is capable of. He's just breaking into the game using all his still like perfect pivot. A lot of players do not use perfect pivot to the full extent and we see Void just using him in everything, his combo, his spacing, his movement, and he's showing us what that could do. And we have a button check. Yep, there they goes. Yeah, and see I'm loving this <laughs> the little button check. Why are you trying to perfect food with Fox? Yeah, oh. no, yeah, but it's just something that a lot of people do not use, and there's a lot of characters, even if their perfect pivots are not uh, too far. Of course, we have the farthest ones being like Captain Falcon, uh, Captain Falcon, Little Mac, and of course Sonic. But uh, if more people would actually look at it, the thing about it is because perfect pivot, you know, you go right back into neutral. In a lot of cases, you can do double perfect pivots to do uh, to change up your spacing. Uh, of course. Different characters actually have some sliding that adds on to their animation. They pivot. do uh, up tilts or down tilts. And uh, that stuff is very great for spacing and, uh, of course, uh, some combo starters because you hit with different parts of the hitbox. Sometimes you hit with the later part of the hitbox and it no, just, it just gets some stuff. Perfect Pivot just gives you more options in the neutral. Yeah. He's, uh, as you said, there's certain characters that off of perfect, like Fox, always going back to Fox. If Fox perfect, piv perfect Pivot's up tilt you, is a guaranteed up air as well. Just because the front hitbox hits you. Mm -hmm. And it's always a guaranteed. So it gives, it just gives a lot of characters other options that they normally wouldn't have uh, access to without Perfect Pivot. Even as, like you explained, even though it might not be as long or as well as the other. All right, okay. So, and now they're going. All right, off to the races. Oh, let's see. This is this is known, this is known for a hard matchup for Yoshi as well. Just she just being able to get through Yoshi's game. Yoshi, surprisingly enough, does not have very great approaching options at all. It's more like baiting you and faking you out type of character than anything. But Yoshi does have a lot of free combos, up tilt, up tilt, up airs. Guarantees that higher percent and that down air doing yeah. a ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there are a lot of strong strings for Yoshi, and Yoshi does have some decent approach options. They're not necessarily the greatest against a character like Sheik, who just dominates in the neutral. But of course, you have the you have the aerial command grab that you can utilize, and uh, if you do use eggs in a proper way, you can actually use the eggs as you're going in for approach. And yeah. so that's something that we're probably going to see some of throughout the set. Of course, right now we just have some zoning coming from DJ, but she just can kind of use her speed, just get inside, and then of course that's one of the best projectiles in the game to zone herself with her needles. So. Yeah, and Roy just running, just perfect running away and grabbing. And you see DJ really, really trying to stay on that platform, not trying to stay on the main stage mainly, trying to run away and everything, but not really working out with him. Void just running around, just hitting his damage and backing off again and letting DJ do what he wants. Yeah. So DJ needs to start adapting to this. Game. Slowly and surely, Void is getting away with this, and DJ is at kill percent right now. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it seems there. I love that usage of crouch from Void right there. And that's something that we don't see too much from people, but it's so good, especially for a character like Sheik who does have access to a ball. Just to be able to duck out. Instantly renders a lot of aerials, like falling down aerials, just useless. Yeah. So you just can do that, and you just really have uh, even less landing Ooh. options. Now. Wow, great up there, and that's going to take the stock right there. And he's going to try <laughs> to make it back. Bumped <laughs> his head a little, got a little afraid from, but he will make it back. DJ showed off a little bit too much in that situation, but yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of people don't realize that, that call is yeah. crawl and ducking is such a powerful tool in this game just because of how grab ranges work as well. Yeah. If she dodge uh, crawls against Falcon, Falcon can't grab him, can't grab her. So crawling has a lot of uses. Still kind of in the dark for everybody, but people should really start looking into that. Yeah, and, absolutely. And that's what we're talking like. You know, she having so much kill power. It is kind of ridiculous sometimes yeah. how early he could kill and. Now we just see DJ trying to say, get back on stage yeah, but just eating everything. Very fast fall to up smash. Guaranteed. Get some needles. And one thing also too that is um, more something, and then you can kind of see it in the choices that Void is making in his combo game. That Yoshi does have access to the double jump. Ooh. Ooh, that's not going to do it. But he's going to put the bomb out. Step, sink. 
Ooh, I like the idea. Armor. Yeah. Super armor from Yoshi saving him from getting needle. Yeah. But um, this is Yoshi. Uh, 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 yeah. Commentator curse. Good. Right. What I was about to say. The only way he could have died is he, if he loses a 50-50 and DJ falling for the 50-50. Yeah, and in some in some percentages that might have been one of them actually. I think that might have actually been guaranteed. Might so, be. So yeah, if you actually time the double jump properly, in the up air properly, there's cases where that will be guaranteed. And so yes, he's got to eat it. <laughs> and Yoshi also losing a lot of one of his biggest tools is that Yoshi normally could get out of combos fairly easy either with a nair or a fastball up air. But she having that amazing frame advantage could just shield in reaction and avoid getting punished and avoid waiting and seeing if DJ's doing that. And so far, it's doing well. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with DJ's. DJ was doing well, but I think he has to start mixing up between playing a very defensive style like he was in game one and knowing just when to just to commit to something. If he's, and not this is going to happen. Void is just going to stand back, do his little hits here and there. Wait for him to approach and just retreat and rinse. And this is yeah, good bears right now for Boy. Oh, oh nice, nice step foot still. Yeah, if that was off stage, that could have been it. Ooh, nice up tilt in response to that miss to that whip down to punish. But yeah, I like I'm, ooh, trying to go for the uh, medium air into up smash. That is some strong damage right there, but unfortunately did not get it. But I'm liking the way that Boy is tackling this. He's realizing that okay, I'm playing against a Mario character. And for about all of you, you know, Mario characters, they all have <laughs> amazing nares. They all have like frame three nares that can get them out of situations that most characters only all they can do is air dodge. And so that's some, a very, very strong oh. option for them. And of course, uh, Yoshi has the double jump. Yep. The super armor double jump. So he's been modifying his follow up game in accordance to that. And that's why you can see here that he's able to tack on a lot of damage despite the fact that he is playing against Yoshi. Yeah, Void, Void uh, seemingly figuring out DJ already and just getting in here in the second stock. No longer having to wait for him, just seeing in his face. And we see DJ struggling a lot with this aggression from Void. Yeah, he's just putting out a lot of pressure at this point. He's not really waiting for anything at this point. Am I the only player who sometimes has the urge that I have to kill one of those ducks on the stage? Oh, 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 is that going to be it? No, oh, the, the high ceiling really? of yeah. duck on saving him, but this is looking very bad for G. Oh, oh my, oh my wow. god. Wow. Wow. Okay. 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 I see you. I okay, see you, boy. boy. That's we, cute. That's cute. We, we seen some new chic stuff today. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. I like it. I like it. That was cute, I'll guys. Like I'll, I'll give it for that. I like it. Okay. 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 DJ showing his I like that. showing his research, but again, DJ just needs to learn how to adapt a little bit more quickly. He's game one. It was working for the first half, and then.